we kick off the Sensational 7 Countdown at the Quincy High Invitational where it was the land of liberty where at least in the 400 meter dash they were very dominant. Shannon O'Neill would get the win on the girls side and set a new personal best at 102.05 and then it was Keegan Sunday finishing the sweep in style. An upset and a new PR with a time of 52.71. Although it came in a losing effort, it was indeed a good day for Beerstown's Jacob Pate. In Monday's barn burner against Quincy High, it was Beerstown getting an early advantage with the help of the bat of Jacob Pate. He leaves the yard in the top of the first to give the Tigers the early lead, and then in his next plate appearance seems to hit the rewind button and do it all over again. Two big shots from Pate in a game that would come all the way down to the wire. How about some Southeast Iowa soccer action? The Keokuk Chiefs would get back in the win column against Mount Pleasant and look pretty good in doing so. Check out this pass from Cooper at Falter Dial to MJ Davis for the goal that would prove to be big in a one-point victory. A beautiful pass, a beautiful goal, and Keokuk gets the win. Marcus Starks had quite a day at the Mark Twain Becky Thatcher relays. Starks would look impressive in high jump, but it was his performance in the 110 meter hurdles that capped off the great day. It came down to the wire between Starks and Quincy High's Reed Savage, and as we have seen that great speed from Marcus on the football field, we saw that speed right here on the track. This race came down to the very end, and Starks was able to hang on and walk away with an impressive win. The Macomb Bombers were doing exactly what it says in their name, hitting bombs. They were playing some long ball against the Lion Eye West on Thursday, and they would use that strategy on a few different occasions. First, it was Ryan Osterman sending one way back right off a tree in center field to give the Bombers a lead, and then it was Caden Mainland hitting a no-doubter. 3-1 bomb to extend his team's lead, where they would eventually go on to win 13-11. Now, we love our defensive plays here at KHUA, and Ryan Capps gave us an absolute beauty. Louisiana taking on Pittsfield at number two, where Mr. Capps showed that although he is heading off to QU for football next season, he still has some game on the field. Caps laying it all on the line and makes this incredible diving catch in foul territory to record the out. What an absolute snag for Mr. Caps. But at the top spot this week, it comes from a thriller between Camp Point Central and West Hancock. With the late game drama brewing and the game tied at four in the bottom of the seventh, the bases were loaded and nobody out, and the Titans only needed one run to win it, but Zane Humphrey wanted to leave no question about this game. A walk-off grand slam to win the game, and that right there would get the celebration started. What a shot, lots of great stuff in that last inning, but it was Mr. Humphrey shutting down the show with a bang, sensational seven style.